So good afternoon, everyone. So um, uh, today I'm going to take a few minutes of your time to uh, to present JCOMOPS and uh, our integrated monitoring system. And to start with, uh, I bet you're all familiar with all these uh, uh, observing system elements. They all are contributing to the GOOS, the Global Ocean Observing System. And to do it in an efficient way, uh, they need coordination. And that's where we sit. So we operate under the umbrella of the WMO and the IRC of UNESCO. And through JCOM and its observation program area, we work for these seven um, observing networks, namely Argo, DBCP, SOT Ocean Sites, Goship Glass, and the latest to join aboard Ocean Gliders. So we are based in uh, Ifremer in Brest, in France. Our information system is uh, hosted by CLS in Toulouse, still in France. And we are a six-person team, including uh, three technical, technical coordinators, uh, one oceanographer dedicated to science communication and outreach, and two IT people, including my, myself and a web developer. Um, so for this uh, observing networks, we are tasked to do assistance, coordination, and monitoring. And uh, to do so, we need to work a lot with metadata. And our first task, first task with metadata is collecting them. And so we collect metadata from various, uh, various sources and uh, heterogeneous sources. And uh, our main source of metadata are, are, from, are coming from the operators themselves. So for platform registration or cruise registration, whether it's uh, what is already in the ocean or for planning. Because uh, with planned plan cruises or plan, uh, deployment for platforms, we can do some... Uh, some, um, we, we can um, optimize the implementation of the networks and do some, uh, some, some, some deployment planning optimization. And so once we have gathered everything, we need to, uh, to add value to this metadata. And that starts with some database modeling, of course. And we try to, uh, to do it in an integrated way. Uh, with shared entities, like for example the ships, so uh, so that in our database we can uh, attach a ship to a, a deploy uh, Nargo flood deployment or uh, a hosting of a VOS station. Then we try also to work with the networks to harmonize um, so the vocabularies and the metadata. We are we, we we build everything on top of what is already existing. So for example, what have, has been doing in Cdata Cloud. And um, we also ensure unicity uh, by using unique IDs for concepts like uh, the, the BMO and then soon the YGOS ID for platforms, but uh, also the IC code for ships and uh, uh, the Edmo code for agencies and soon the ORC ID for contacts. And uh, finally, we ensure integrity by controlling uh, manually uh, by our technical coordinators, the metadata entering the system. Um, and so once we have done all that, we can fuel an autonomous system because uh, every cruise, every platform entering the system will be tracked automatically by some a lot of scripts and proce pr procedures. And uh, so because we are also uh, collecting metadata from the GTS and the GDAC in near real time, we can set auto uh, automatic statuses on, uh, on these elements. Uh, we also do some uh, GIS processing. <coughs> for example, the uh, uh, official EEZ notification for Argo floats. When they enter EEZ, we notify the operators. We also do some density maps or spot analysis. And uh, all of this uh, GIS processing is uh, powered by S3 Technologies. And uh, all this information system, like I said before, is hosted by CLS in Toulouse with the constant monitoring. So yes, once we have uh, done all of that, we can play a bit with the metadata and do some products. So our first and main product is uh, authoritative maps. So each month we produce maps like this, uh, integrating ones and network specific ones. And then we also compute some uh, key performance indicators. 
And um, so you can see that there are some gaps in this table. That's because uh, not all networks have yet defined indicators, no targets for the indicators. So that's something we need to work with the different panels. Uh, this year, we, was, we released the second edition of the JCOM report card, which is a document uh, assessing and reporting on the uh, implementation of the JCOM uh, observing networks. We also redistribute the uh, metadata through some data exchange. So we have our CSV, historical CSV files that are being used. We are working on the REST API. Uh, that will be YGOS compliant. And also we have a REST API available with our JS server. And finally, our most visible product is our website, uh, which is uh, a web portal, a web application, where you can query our whole database through different criteria and map the, the different uh, elements that are in the system. Uh, you can create a profile, save your query, uh, compare to different queries, go left, uh, leave the site and going back afterward and retrieve the same expense as, as when you left the website. Uh, you can compute and, uh, some statistics and uh, uh, show some graphs. And these, uh, these are made as dynamic widgets. So if you change the query, they will change automatically uh, to reflect the current sample that you have built on the website. And uh, recently, we have been working with the uh, 3D uh, technologies that S3 provides to, uh, for mainly for communications uh, in outreach activities. So this example is made uh, from the uh, ADAP installation at iFormer. So we query uh, Argo profile delta data, and we can plot it in 3D. So this is uh, uh, sea temperature from uh, an Argo deep float. This is still under development. This is uh, this needs uh, optimization. It's uh, it's uh, in its uh, early stages, and that's why we, for our perspective, we want to uh, to continuously improve what we are what we are doing, and essentially on essentially on the website. So we want to optimize the search and indexing uh, by using uh, Elasticsearch. It has been mentioned a couple of times uh, uh, during this conference. And uh, <coughs> still, uh, also, we, as, as I said before, we want to uh, continue working on 3D tools. And uh, also, but we want also to, to, to complete the set of integrated projects, like uh, seen on the uh, slide before. There are some gaps in the KPIs, for example. Some maps are missing because we don't have enough metadata yet to produce them. So that brings me to my second point. It's, uh, we still need to integrate more metadata. And uh, besides complete uh, the current, network, uh, current networks that we have and add new networks, we also need to work on historical metadata. Uh, for example, for DBCP, it's quite hard to do because they have been reusing WMOs. Uh, we have to. Uh, to, uh, to, to, um, to complete the whole set of deployments for moorings. But that's, that's something we are currently doing. And uh, not every network has defined yet their meta metadata rules, uh, in speaking of format and content. Uh, but uh, that's on the, uh, on the way. Uh, we will also raise new services. And the uh, major one is the uh, WMO, WMO IDs allocation, because since uh, the GCOM 5 last year, we have been tasked to, to uh, allocate WMO IDs. So we will uh, release a service to be able to uh, allocate WMO IDs on demand. And finally, we want to uh, develop our interconnectivities uh, with other entities like the YGOS, because uh, we will uh, we will fuel them with uh, our metadata. Uh, but also, we will, we will work with IODE for the contact database through Ocean Experts, and also uh, with uh, ODIS for data access and project access. And uh, also, we, uh, we want to work a bit with uh, BODC, for example, for what Luis has been presenting this morning. It's really interesting for us. 
to have this sensor specification uh, um, uh, available through a sensor ML would be really helpful because we have been trying to do that to, uh, to, to gather uh, sensor metadata and it's not that easy. And finally, to also work with the different RDAP uh, installations that are available, for example, iFormers one, but also OSMC's one and the few other that uh, are being set up. So yes, still a, a lot to do, but uh, this integration effort is really helpful and uh, necessary for the future uh, success of this observing network. Thank you.